What is up everybody? It is your boy Fire. Thank you once again for tuning in to another video man. Shout out notification squad. Hope you're having a great day. As the title says, today we're gonna to be looking at some really cool VSTs to help you get a bit of vocal sound. So let's get straight into it. So really we're gonna be focusing on you know two main types of plugins. We're gonna be looking at some nice vintage compressors as well as some nice saturation plugins that you can use to really help your vocals cut through the mix without doing much EQ. So if you're into that, stick around. We're gonna get cool audio nerdy. Today's video is sponsored by DistroKid. What is DistroKid? DistroKid is a service that allows musicians to upload their music to online stores and streaming services. These include iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, and many more. DistroKid collects earnings and payments and sends 100% of these earnings to artists, minus the banking fees of course. Some of the awesome benefits you'll find when using DistroKid include automatic revenue splits aka being able to split the profits for any project that you've worked on with other people, the hyperfollow feature which is pretty much a standard in today's music world when doing viral marketing, lyric support aka being able to add lyrics to songs and then have them pop up on various streaming services. Now I'm pretty sure you're wondering how much this wonderful service costs. A single band or musician plan would run you at $19.99 per year. And if you use my link below, you can get an additional 7% off of your first year. Check out DistroKid below, link in the description. And shout out to DistroKid for powering this video. Let's get it. So yeah man, first things first, we have this Brit compressor right here, which is a emulation of a classic Neve compressor. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure this is the 2264A compressor, a well-known compressor um, in the rock field, you know, definitely used on snare drums, on vocals to really get that really nice kind of pumpy, but really nice upfront vocal sound or snare sound, whatever you pump through it. Um, classic Neve design would always have a transformer in it. That's where you kind of get that nice smoothened off top end. And this is definitely a golden era compressor. So it's really cool to see this in free VST format. Um, Definitely check the links in the description for all the plugins. Uh, Analog Obsession is a really cool company and they make some really sick uh, emulations. But yeah man, let's kind of get into it. So I've got this Kid Leroy vocal effect and uh, I'll just play a little bit of it and then we'll start mangling uh, the vocal with some cool stuff. I wish I could, this shit affects me every day. Yeah, I ain't been on me in a minute, think I'm living too fast. I'm popping my whip and racing cause I just can't relax. Wish that I could talk about it but I just can't do that. Now these problems keep on staying. So there you go, we've got a really nice upfront modern day sound. Um, but what we can do is if we wanted to make the vocal a little bit darker without actually doing any EQ, we could actually use a compressor. So this is going to be really nice, uh, a really nice compressor for those who might just be recording with a mic and an audio interface, but want to get a bit more of that kind of analogy uh, kind of gooiness out of, um, you know, some sort of piece of gear. You may not have a compressor, then this can be a really nice start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solo the vocal and then I'm going to just kind of show you how I can blend together. Um, we'll kind of run through the, the plugins parameters after. I, I like to, you know, mess around with it first and we'll kind of break down what is going on. But you'll see I'll mess around with the uh, gain reduction and then the limiting and then I'll kind of show you how we can really do some cool things with that. Yeah, I ain't been home in a minute, think I'm living too fast. I'll pop in my whip and race it cause I just can't relax. Wish that I could talk about it, but I just can't do that. And all these problems keep on stacking up, I gotta deal with that. Yeah, she say I'm a villain, but I'm Tom Cruise on a mission. Heard he talk down in the squad, boy, yeah, you gon' end up missing. Can you just hear how we get that really aggressive kind of squashed uh, rock, you know what I mean, vocal sound, really cool. So really what I did right there was, if we kind of go through what the plugin is actually all about, we have two sections um, that are going to be doing some sort of compression, and that would be our limiting section right here. So these first two knobs, we've got the threshold for the limiter, and then we also have the release time of the limiter. And the limiter, you can't really see the um, how much limiting you're doing, so you're just going to have to listen by ear. On the bottom of that, we've got pretty much the same thing, but this time around, the compression. And these four knobs are going to represent the compressor. We have a threshold, obviously. Go and Google what a compressor uh, or a threshold knob does, if you do not know. Pretty much just sets when the compressor is going to kick in. Uh, we can set that, you know, how we like. And then we also have some release times or recovery times in this instance, as the British would say. Um, but yeah, man, there you go. We've also got an output gain, so how much level we want to set after the compressor. If you have squashed the vocal, you can then bring the level up, as well as a ratio knob. So two to one is always going to be a nice starting point. But as you can see, what I did right there was I squashed the vocal quite a bit using the limiter. I'll just turn off the limiter. 
Yeah, I ain't been home in a minute, think I'm living too fast. And just with the compress, we're kind of getting that nice kind of kickback sound. But once we enable the limiter, we really get this darker kind of squashed sound. Yeah, I ain't been home in a minute, think I'm living too fast. I'll pop in my whip and race it cause I just can't relax. Wish that I could talk about it, but I just can't do that. And all these problems keep on stacking up, I gotta deal with that. So now we're really getting that in your face kind of ta ta vocal sound. And uh, you know, a lot of people ask me, man, how do I get, you know, a certain type of rock sound? Am I EQing wrong? And really, you know, I think you might be missing out uh, making use of compression. So really cool compressor right here. If we kind of just mess with the wet and dry, because now I kind of like what we have, but it may be a bit too much for this track. We can kind of use the wet and dry knob to just kind of tone it back to get half of that effect. Every day. Yeah, I ain't been home in a minute, think I'm living too fast. I'll pop in my whip and race it cause I just can't relax. Wish that I could talk about it, but I just can't do that. And all these problems keep on stacking up, I gotta deal with that. Yeah, she said I'm a villain, but I'm Tom Cruise on a mission. Heard he talk down in the squad, boy, yeah, you gon' end up missing. I'm with the game for life, yeah, we ain't never switching. Got a bag and I'll flip it, can't bet for you what you're missing. So the next plugin we have right here would be an emulation of the Neve 1073. Now, why would this be valuable to you if you're recording your own vocals? Well, you know, if you are not using a uh, outboard, you know, preamp, you're using your stock interface preamp, you know, you're going to get a really clean tone. But using a plugin like this can really help you get a bit more grit out of your vocal sound. So, you know, how we set this up, uh, you know, this is kind of setting up if you've seen the warm audio WA73, it's pretty much the same. We've got an EQ section. Uh, you know, this is a treble boost right here. So around there, you know, this is going to be boosting some treble. A really cool trick which I like to make use of on my preamp is just to boost the treble by like 0.1 dB. And then you kind of get this really nice lift. So already you're going to be getting a nice sound if you make use of this while recording. Uh, so something like that can work. We've also got two parametric bands. So, you know, uh, kind of high mid band as well as a low shelf band, but I'll leave that for a different video. Uh, but what, what is important is really making use of this filter. This is something I'm using right now on my microphone. I always like to set mine at 80 Hertz. So this is something that you can try with your own microphone and vocal, so vocal sound, excuse me. And um, yeah, man, you can also enable the mic section right here, which is gonna help you kind of get more of a distorted sound. So let's see what we can do with this. Every day. Yeah, I ain't been home in a minute, think I'm living too Cause I just can't relax Wish that I could talk about it But I just can't do that And all these problems keep on stacking up I gotta deal with that Yeah, she said I'm a villain But I'm Tom Cruise on a mission Cool, so the next plugin we have would be the Air Windows Coils plugin And really what this is emulating is The effect of when you saturate a transformer output i think it is an output or input but really um all you need to know is that you're going to end up with a darker sound when you turn up the saturation knob so i found this to be a useful plugin for when um i'm mixing certain types of vocals that may have been recorded quite harsh instead of using eq to kind of notch out frequencies you can easily use a plugin like this to just kind of darken the vocal and then you know as you like lift up the treble after the plugin so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to turn this on mess around with it we can see what happens pretty simple straightforward plugin Every day yeah, I ain't been home in a minute Think I'm living too fast I'll pop in my whip and race it Cause I just can't relax Wish that I could talk about it But I just can't do that And all these problems keep on stacking up I gotta deal with that Yeah, she said I'm a villain But I'm Tom Cruise on a mission Heard he talking down in the squad Boy, yeah, you gon' end up missing I'm with the game for life Yeah, we ain't never switching can you kind of hear how that treble region has been rolled off without me doing any EQ? Really cool. Uh, you know, sometimes it is just worth using a plugin instead of an EQ. You know, a lot of times, you know, once we're visually looking at sound, we can kind of fool ourselves into doing a lot more than is necessary. So a plugin like this is really nice to have simply because I'm not looking at an EQ curve. I'm simply listening to what's happening. And I know that the saturation curve is going to make things darker. I can tune it as much as I like. I actually quite like it on full. Uh, the, the core DC from what I understand or what sounds like is happening is it's rolling off a little bit of the low end. So definitely mess around with this. Uh, especially important if you are recording with a simple audio interface. Definitely can help you get a different sound. So yeah man, pretty cool. After that, we have got another cool classic compressor plugin and as you can see on this mix uh, if you watched yesterday's video i am a big fan of 
adding a bus compressor onto our vocal bus because it is, it is just a really nice way to glue together our whole kind of vocal mix. And, uh, you know, it's especially important if you are recording to two-track instrumentals. So, you know, really cool. This is a really nice um, updated version of the Buster. The old Buster was kind of a more um, kind of 19-inch rack looking version. But again, this is doing the SSL bus comp thing. I'm sure by now you know what that is. Really cool classic compressor that is going to do the glue effect. If we really just look at the layout, we've got threshold, obviously, the makeup gain for volume, uh, the attack, as well as the release. The auto release is always nice, but these are my signature settings for mixing vocals. Um, I love to set the attack on one millisecond, I'm pretty sure it is. 0.1 millisecond I think would be 10 or 0.10 milliseconds. This would be one millisecond and this is a 1.2 second release, but for vocals it works really nice because it, it just kind of has a nice rhythm to it. Um, you could also try the, the, the uh, auto release. But yeah man, two ratio is always my thing. As you can see, this would be my compressor of choice. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly let you see what's happening on the SSL compressor, then we'll switch over to the other one. Every day. Yeah, I ain't been on it a minute, think I'm living too fast. I'm popping my whip and racing cause I just can't relax. Wish that I so as you can see right there, we're doing about one to two dB of compression, not too much but just enough to glue our vocals together. So let's see if this um, Freevious T can make up for that. So let's do that. Every day. I ain't been on in a minute, think I'm living too fast. I'm popping my whip and racing cause I just can't relax. Wish that I could talk about it, but I just can't do that. And all these problems keep on stacking up, I gotta deal with that. Yeah, she say I'm a villain, but I'm Tom Cruise on a mission. Heard he talking down in the squad, boy, yeah, you... Sounds pretty cool to me. That definitely has a slightly different um, style of releasing the signal. I could hear it kind of popping with this 1.2 setting. That's kind of the case with different types of plugins. They will not always work with the exact same settings. But nonetheless, I would, I would use this without a doubt. Uh, really nice. What we also have right here, which seems to be a popular thing to do these days for a lot of the uh, companies out there cloning gear is to add some additional functions. Now, I do not know what the turbo function does. I would assume it is probably speeding up the attack maybe or speeding up the release or something like that. But as you can see right here, we have a optional um, kind of output transformer. This is something that for those who know Stam Audio, uh, they'll add this transformer output onto their bus compressor. They also make a real version of this, a clone for about, I think, $1,000. Warm Audio also make one, and I think they also have the transformer output. But what the transformer output is going to do, as we talked about earlier, is going to add a little bit of a kind of, you know, warmer top end, uh, warmer bottom end, kind of tighten it up, make it sound a bit fatter. But um, yeah, really cool plugins, um, you know, and this is, you know, some cool stuff that I'll be making use of definitely. I'm going to try this out on parallel compression one day, but um, yeah, man, sounds good to me. Last plugin, this is something I mention in every single video pretty much, but I really wanted to show you how, you know, a lot of people tell me that the two track instrumentals they have or the music they have doesn't have that kind of analog vibe to it. So this is again a plugin which you can utilize without having to pull out an EQ in order to get a bit more kind of girth out of your mix, a bit more wideness, a bit more fatness. And this is the, uh, the Air Windows Channel 8. And what I like to use this on is again the API or the SSL console option. And really what this does is it emulates overdriving a channel. So as you can see, I got this SSL console and what I could do is I could overdrive, for example, this beat, make it sound a lot better, but we can do this in the box and that's really cool uh, because we can do the, we can obviously do this unlimited amount of times so only have eight channels on here. So, you know, I'm going to pretty much show you how I can beef up this beat and uh, we'll kind of look at what that sounds like. So. So hopefully if you have a nice fine tuned ear, you can hear that the 808 sounds a bit more 3D, the 808 sounds a bit bigger, obviously we have got an increase in volume, but uh, nonetheless I really like what it does, you know what I mean, it's really nice and sweet and simple. We also have two different options, so we've got the SSL, which in my opinion sounds the best, it kind of has that nice 3D modern day sound, but we also have the API, which has a nice bit of a poke to it in the mid-range, and then we've got the Neve, which sounds a bit more treble heavy, so let's kind of mess around with the other two. Using the hi-hat, making that sound a bit more emphasized, whereby the API has kind of got this mid boost and again the SSL has that kind of low end kind of 3D thing going on to it. But yeah man those are all the plugins that I can show you in today's video. Um, there are definitely so many free VSTs out there. I'm not sure if the State Digital Fresh Air is still out otherwise I would have made a video on it but uh, that's also a really cool plugin which you can try out. I think I picked this up for free. Let's see how long it takes for the iLock to load up. 
but this is definitely something you can go and check out as well um, but obviously there are many videos out there you know a lot of channels that are solely based on VST review have probably made a review on this so yeah man hope you enjoyed today's video hopefully you learned something about some cool emulations of analog gear and I hope you keep mixing VST links will be in the description if you want to see how I made this whole template you can check the video link in the description as well as links to my vocal recording course vocal mixing course and vocal enhancer for FL Studio if you wish to up your game as an engineer with that being said I'll check you out next time peace out